Hey, what's going on you guys? Sorry, it's been a while without a video. I meant to film yesterday, but I got lazy. Oh, there's a bee. Today I'm in my, my backyard. Because, um, quarantine. But today, we're going to be doing a botany video. And we're just going to see what kinds of really cool plants can be found in the backyard. And I'll kind of just give you facts and statistics about them. So that you can um, you can learn a little bit, you know, while you're stuck at home, just playing video games. You can take these these few minutes just to learn a little bit about plants. I think I think that's an important thing to do. Now this may appear to be just you know your standard average average bush, right? But in actuality, this is a called the the French prickleback bush um, now you might wonder how how it got all the way here from France and that's a good question well you see the winds blew blew the seeds here to my backyard you can get these actually for probably I think as little as as 10 US dollars at your local plant store now, the reason it's called the prickleback is because it has these spikes on it, so, ah, oh, it's really, it hurts to touch, so that predators don't, don't eat it. So in that way, this plant is very similar to, to something like a puffer fish, you know. Now this is a weed. Um, weeds wrap their roots around other plants and sort of strangle them, so that's why we always, we always pull weeds. As you can see, this weed is dead or dying. This represents um, the defeating of evil and the duality of man and how we will one day overcome all of our evils, like this dead weed right here. Now this tree right here is called the, um, the Japanese fire breather. And as you can see, there's a live flamingo standing right next to it. Now. This tree is interesting because it can actually, some of the seeds will plant new trees, but some of them will plant these, um, these fire-breathing flamingos. So if I get, if I got too close, it would attack me. So I have to stand, I have to socially distance from the tree. Otherwise it'll try to attack me. Now you might wonder, why did I get one of these in my backyard? Well. Usually robbers come in, come in through that gate, and um, if it sees anyone in a black mask like a robber, it'll attack them. So that's why I have this tree. This is a rock. Now, I, I know rocks are not plants, and um, they're not even living things either. They're just rocks. This is a really big rock, and there's a lot of little rocks surrounding it. Now, when I was younger, I thought that a rock was a living thing because it came from nature. I was very disappointed to find out that rocks are not living things, they're just rocks. Enough said. So when we look at the ground here, we see a bunch of little tiny weeds, or what we think are weeds. Like, um, these ones are all weeds over here, but this one... This is actually the very first sprout of an apple tree. So, maybe, you know, I'm probably going to graduate and move out in like two years, but maybe if I come back to this house in 20 years, and my parents are still here, or maybe the, the new owners of the house will let me eat apples from this tree. Such a beautiful little, it's kind of cute, honestly. Um, we need to think of a good name for it. So after some long consideration, I'm thinking I'm going to name this plant, um, Stewie. Because he's just a tiny little baby, but he's very strong and mighty. And he'll... I don't know what I'm trying to I'm kidding it. it. It's named Stewie. Be really, really careful of these two plants. They're called 
Transylvanian man-eaters. Now, you may have heard of carnivorous plants, like the, you know, the Venus uh, flytrap, for instance, is a plant that eats flies when they land on them. These plants eat people. You cannot go near these things, because they will snatch you up, and they will eat you. Some people can get out of them before the plant digests you, but it'll poke you with all those sharp things. You can't even touch it. You can't even go, like, right next to it, because it'll eat you. You may wonder why I have them in my backyard. And, um, the answer is don't worry about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, today's botany video. It is really important, a very, a uh, concept that was very near and dear to me, because, um, uh, botany is something that's very important, and, you know, we need to learn about plants to help you know, stay clear of the dangerous ones, but also to help preserve our planet Earth. Um, in terms of uploads, I got, sorry, I was in the sun, I'll go into the shade now. I got, um, a new, uh, new, new sort of Minecraft parody. It's a little bit different, though. I'm gonna be dropping here soon, so get ready for that. Um, I can't think of any good games to play for, for gaming videos, so if you have an idea, let me know. And, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you'd like another nature bit video, like botany type video like this. And I can, I can do that for you. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.